All right, hey, this is Russ Brennan. We're here at the Press Intro for the 2008 Kawasaki Ninja 250R down in San Diego. Uh, we just wanted to go over some of the key features of the new bike for you. Uh, you notice up here in front, we've gone to a 17-inch front wheel. The previous version had a 16-inch front wheel. Also, all new disc rotor on here, 30 millimeters larger than the previous model. So we've got a 290 millimeter disc up front and twin piston calipers here. Front fork is also new for 2008. It's a larger diameter fork tube, so better rigidity and improved amping control. Up here in front, we've gone ahead and replaced the gauge cluster from the previous model. This new one, in addition to having a speedometer and a tack, also has a brand new fuel gauge. Now, of course, we can't talk about this all new 2008 model without talking about the styling. There's not a single piece of bodywork on the new bike that's carried over from the previous model. So notice nice, sleek styling looks just like the larger ninjas in our family. Included in that is this new stylish and sleek fuel tank. It offers 4.8 gallons of fuel, so great cruising range on that. And then underneath all, uh, this uh, all-new bodywork is a new frame. The frame actually has a uh, steeper head angle, so a uh, steeper rake. It's gone from a uh, 27 to 26 degree rake on that. So what that does is improve the handling and gives you greater turn-in on the bike. If we look here at the engine, the engine now in this model is roughly about 70% new from the old model. So what we've gone ahead and done is the head's new, piston's new, cam's new. What we're really trying to accomplish with all these changes is improve the low and mid-range feeling of the bike. So really notice that, especially when you're taking off from a red light, nice, smooth, linear power band, a lot easier to get started off the line. In addition to the bodywork being new, the foot pegs have been raised, and what that does is increases the cornering clearance of the bike. So you notice that as you're making the transition from one side to another, a little bit more uh, cornering clearance for the rider. Behind here is an all-new rear shock. Now, the previous model didn't have any adjustment. This new model has five-way preload adjustability, so the rider is able to tailor the rear end of the motorcycle to his or her weight and his or her riding style. The old Ninja 250R, you may remember, had a dual exhaust. This one now has a stylish single-sided exhaust here on the right-hand side of the motorcycle. And then behind that is a new reinforced swing arm. Swing arm offers, just like the frame, increased torsional rigidity, but it's also about an inch uh, longer. Now finally, as we work our way to the back of the motorcycle, just like the front where we've gone to a 17-inch wheel, we put a 17-inch rear wheel on this motorcycle as well. It also features a new pedal-style disc rotor and uh, dual piston calipers out back as well. So. This bike comes in four colors. It comes in the red, black, blue, and the lime that you see here. It has the accessory seat cowl that's available from your Kawasaki dealer, and it's available now. So if you get a chance, stop on by your Kawasaki dealer and check out the new 2008 Kawasaki Ninja 250R.